Kaiser's Tea Care Committee created this video to help you understand what to expect during your hospital stay. We believe that healing takes place when there is a caring connection between patient and healer. We are committed to providing quality care, and your safety is our first priority. Patients who take part in their health care decisions have better outcomes. After all, you are the most important member of your health care team, so we want to engage you, the patient, and your family members in your healing process. Ask questions about anything you do not understand. Let us know about any needs that you may have. At Kaiser Permanente, we strive to make your stay as comfortable and healing as possible. An entire patient care team has been assembled for you, who contribute greatly toward your well-being while you are here. And because effective communication is critical, if needed, we have language interpreters and communication assistive devices available. Our volunteers partner with us to help provide you with a comfortable stay. Volunteers are available to visit, provide conversation, read, and offer their support. We respect the rich diversity of spiritual beliefs. So if you would like us to contact a spiritual care provider for you, let us know. While in the hospital, you will wear a wristband for identification. And for your safety, everyone on your care team will be checking your wristband to verify your identity. Kaiser utilizes electronic medical records where all medications are scanned prior to medication administration and your patient ID band is used to verify this information for accuracy. So please keep all wristbands on during your entire hospital stay. It's all about safety. We are all responsible for the prevention of errors. So if you or your family members have a concern, please speak up. Shift changes occur at 7 a.m., 3 p.m., and 11 p.m and at each shift change, you will be introduced to your new patient care team members. We will also update the care board with this information. The care board in your room is a helpful communication tool where you can find your room phone number, who your nurse is and your nurse's direct phone number, your doctor's name, goals that have been set for you, the types of tests you will be receiving that day, your anticipated discharge date, and other valuable information. We encourage you and your family to also use the care board to write notes or questions you may have for your care team. Your nurse carries a phone and you can find his or her phone number on the care board. If you need to get a hold of your nurse, you can call them directly by phone. Your nurse and care team are available at all times. We always have a physician available 24 hours a day. Physicians generally make their rounds once a day to check in on their patient. And are available to staff by phone. We also have a Rapid Response Team, or RRT. This team responds immediately to your bedside anytime the staff, you, or your visitors need them for a life-threatening emergency. If you have been identified as a risk for falls, then along with your regular patient wristband, you will also wear a yellow band. And while you may have a visitor who is willing to help get you up and out of bed, it's important that you have someone from your care team help you. So if you are wearing a yellow wristband, whenever you need to get out of bed, press the call button for assistance, and a member of your care team will help you. Don't ever think that you are bothering us. We are here to help. During your stay, 
we will make sure that you have a pair of non-skid socks. These socks not only keep your feet warm, but are for your safety. Wear them whenever you get out of bed. If you are wearing a yellow band, then someone from your care team needs to stay with you whenever you are out of bed. Following some procedures or with some conditions, some patients may even need the extra help of walkers or bedside commodes. If necessary, a bed alarm will activate to help remind you not to get up without assistance. Keep the upper side rails on your bed up at all times. These aid in the prevention of falls, and the bed rails are also great to use to help you reposition yourself in bed to get more comfortable. The bed controls are located on the outside and inside of the upper rails. Press the call button and a care team member will come to assist you right away. There is also a button to raise the head of your bed or to lower it. You can also push a button to raise your knees or lower your knees. Besides the buttons on the bed rails, you also have a handheld remote control with a call button that you can press when you need someone to help you. The handheld remote also controls the television. Use it to turn it on and off, select channels, and control the volume. You can also control the room lights with the remote. Every room and bed has its own phone. Here's how to make an outside call from the hospital phone. Push the red bar. Dial the number 9 to get an outside line. Then dial your local phone number. To hang up, press the red bar. On the side of the phone is the volume control. You are welcome to use your cell phone as well. And for your convenience, Kaiser has installed free Wi-Fi throughout the hospital. We place a great deal of attention on infection control, and hand washing is not only an easy way to prevent infection, it's also very effective. Good morning. Expect everyone, whether it's someone on your care team or a visitor, to clean their hands before and after they touch you. Hand hygiene is the most important thing each of us can do to stop the spread of infection. And it's not only okay to ask your care team members or visitors if they have washed their hands, we encourage it. You can also help prevent the spread of infection by reminding family and friends not to visit you in the hospital when they are sick. Some patients are placed on isolation precautions to protect the patient and others from infection. Gloves, gowns, and masks are sometimes needed to be worn by your care team and anyone who enters the room, including visitors. If you are in isolation, we will explain what this means and what to expect. All visitors should check in at the nurse's station to get instructions before entering an isolation room. Patients and visitors are provided with information to help answer questions regarding isolation precautions. A sign will also be posted outside isolation rooms explaining what is required. Visitors should never leave your room wearing the gloves. Gloves should be removed and thrown away in the room before leaving. Hands should be cleaned immediately. Whether or not gloves are worn, hand washing needs to occur every time someone enters or leaves your room. To wash hands, use a small amount of soap with warm water. Scrub vigorously for at least 15 seconds. Dry hands thoroughly with paper towels and then use the foot pedal to open the trash receptacle and throw paper towels away. To wash hands using gel or foam, place a small amount on your hands and rub together, making sure you cover all areas. Rub until the gel or foam is absorbed. Not everyone who is hospitalized experiences pain, but some patients do. 
Relieving pain is an important part of your medical treatment. And while it may not always be possible to eliminate all pain, your care team will work with you to address your pain, discuss relief options, and together make a plan to ensure your comfort. As part of your pain management plan, we will use a pain scale where you will be asked to rank your pain on a scale between 0 and 10, where 0 equals no pain and 10 equals the worst possible pain. Reporting your pain level as a number helps your doctors and nurses develop a pain management strategy and to determine how well your treatment plan is working. Meals are served three times a day and snacks are available upon request. Your physician orders a diet for you based upon your admission diagnosis and treatment course. At mealtime, it's important to clean your hands before you eat. While you can talk to anyone on your care team if you have a dietary concern, nutritional services, including registered dietitians, are available to talk or answer questions you may have. For the health of our patients and staff, Kaiser is a tobacco-free campus and smoking is not permitted. If you would like to quit smoking, we have smoking cessation tools available. Ask a care team member about this. The hospital is also a scent-free environment due to severe allergic responses that some people experience. We would like to remind you and your visitors to please refrain from the use of scented products. Please do not bring valuables or medications with you to the hospital. We are unable to take responsibility for your belongings. The admitting department can provide safekeeping for credit cards and cash. Upon admission, you are provided with information on HIPAA, the federal law that protects patient privacy and confidentiality. On this form, you indicate who is able to receive information about your status. Talk to your care team if you have questions about this. You and your family play a vital role in your recovery. Occasionally, a family member may wish to spend the night. Alert a care team member if sleeping arrangements are needed. At Kaiser, we recognize the complex integration of body, mind, and spirit and strive to create a comfortable healing environment. We have various caring healing modalities available, such as Channel 91, which is our in-house relaxation channel, guided imagery CDs, and the Art at the Bedside project. Art and science are used to create a healing environment where you, the patient, feels cared for. This includes making an intentional connection where healing, safety, and well-being takes place for both patient and nurse. We use a patient-centered approach to healing and believe no one knows better than you do what your needs are. Maybe you just need a warm blanket, a cup of tea, and a sympathetic ear. Your comfort is very important to us, so please let us know how we can support you while you are here with us. Every attempt is made to keep the hospital environment quiet and soothing, but there is always some noise associated with the equipment used to monitor and deliver safe patient care. For your comfort, just ask us and we can provide you with earplugs and eye masks. We want to learn from your experience, and we value your opinion. Your care team is here to help, so don't hesitate to ask any of them questions or speak up if you have a concern. Part of your care team includes our assistant managers who make rounds to check on patients. If you or your family have any questions, they are available to address them. When your doctor feels you are ready to leave the hospital, you will be discharged. 
your doctor will write a discharge order. Your care team will do everything possible to have you ready to depart in a timely fashion. A member of the discharge planning team may contact you and your family to discuss your discharge needs. You can help expedite your discharge by arranging a ride home from the hospital as soon as your discharge order has been written. You will be provided with a copy of your discharge instructions, which includes information on follow-up appointments, medications, and specific instructions from your hospital doctor. Discharge instructions will be reviewed with you and you will have the opportunity to ask questions. When you are ready to leave, either a volunteer or another member of your care team will escort you by wheelchair to the front entrance to your ride. Every member of your care team plays a vital role in achieving the goal of delivering compassionate care in a safe and healing environment. We appreciate you choosing Kaiser. Remember, we are here to help you thrive.